one owner car guy and what I've got here for you today is a sweet 1982 Ford Granada GL. Um, this car is fully loaded. I really don't know of anything that it doesn't have. Um, it's a one owner car and not only that, this car's only got 57,000 original miles. 3.3 um, liter straight six, great power plant. Um, these are great little cars and to find one this clean and nice you just ain't gonna do that and well maintained and taken care of and serviced right that's what I've got here and if you're looking for one to start out with one like this is the way to go this car will last you for a heck of a long time um, cheap to work on cheap for maintenance and just all that classic look um, you are definitely unique on the road with this and with the smaller fox body type setup, it is a little bit easier to maneuver, park, and all that than the big Crown Vic LTDs and such, and Merck Colony Parks. So, that's your once around. We're going to do a twice around, show you any minor damage. We'll go for a test drive, we'll show you the inside, um, and do all that. Now the way I ended up doing this, I'm blocked out of having a darker spot here to do the interior. So I'm going to do the once around. I'm going to do the twice around, and then I'm going to go ahead and get on the road and do a test drive, and then I'll cut out at some point and start again at my other lot where I've got to end up today. So, check out my other videos, lots of unique one and two owner, classic Euro American cars, and I sell them cheap, and my website, www.oneownercarguy.com, and there's lots of stuff on there, over 700 videos on this here channel, and that's that. I'm going to start at the back corner of the side and show you anything you can. Um, as far as anything on this goes, you've got a couple little places where your lines there, what do you call them, your, oh, pinstriping is getting thin. And that's the only spot back there I've really seen. A couple little chips like that. And this piece of trim here, he brushed against something lightly, and right there as well. So, this piece of trim is all beautiful. Everything on it is, I've been driving around, <laughs> I got some water on it. Goodyears, three of them are Goodyears. This one is mismatched, I believe. No, it's a matched set, he just kind of rubbed the sidewall off on it, that's what it was. Um, beautiful up here. Little light spot on the metallic part of the paint there and there was another just on this line looked a little bit lighter on each side looks great 3.3 liter love that beveled triangular weird hood ornament all the chrome is just absolutely beautiful while I'm up here let me show you under the front get down here on the ground my low-level light adjustment kick in here come on there we go here it comes BAM beautiful under here other side here still got tags everywhere under it and I'm sure you find a little bit of a damp gasket somewhere, but it don't leak all over or nothing. Nice as can be. All these plastic pieces are in great shape. Wheel wells, great shape. Can you see that? I hope so. It takes a second for the low light, low level light adjustment. The black. I believe that's supposed to be blacker. Yeah, it's faded there. Check out the tranny. It's going to take a second for it to show you, but... It's well worth it. I like to show the underneaths and everything. Um, like that, you can see a little bit of grease on it. But it's nothing that's leaking all over. It's definitely just... And look at the bottom. Just clean as can be. Everything. Okay, all your chrome on this side just looks beautiful. All the chrome around the windows, just nice as it gets. Chrome on the top. That's one thing about these older cars, is they had a lot of chrome. A lot of chrome. 
and there just ain't much to talk about as far as damage on this car. That's a watermark from sitting. Come right off. Uh, there's a chip in the windshield over there. I think on the roof right here, there may be a couple places where the metallic's a little light, like that one spot, but you just really can't tell. If you get up close, like right in there, you can see it looks a little dry. But in between all that and everything, it looks great. All these kind of cars have a problem with rusting out around these holes. And as you can see, this one must have been stored inside and everything, because it's in great shape. And not only that, look at the plastic seal around that. Yeah, I know my hands are dirty and stuff, because I this one's cracked, but look how clean they are. So, that's once around the once around. I'll show you into the back. Chrome bumpers and everything are in great shape. I actually got a CW Ford. And it's a dual key year with that big round one. Oh, let me get down here. Come on now. There we go. Beautiful. And you can tell from the side there for some gas leakages. It seems like they might have had that apart. And in fact, I'm pretty sure they did. You can see the jizz around the bolts too. Somebody had that apart, redid the back. Or redid something in it and put it back together. So that's good. You can tell the car's been maintained. The tank looks brand new. A little dust on it from driving it, but that's about it. Lenses are in great shape chrome around everything, great shape. These could be reconditioned and made to be lighter, for sure. But all the lenses are in great shape, not all cracked up or anything. A little bit of, that's dirty. Just dirty on that little seal in there. And that could be wiped out really easy, it just wasn't. Well, I can't think of anything else to show you. This beautiful car, I've showed you the outside, did the walk around a couple times. Um, I'm going to do the test drive, then I'll show you the interior, under the hood, and all that good stuff. My name is Nathan, it's 406-544-6919. You can reach me absolutely anytime. And other than that, um, www.oneownercarguy.com. Check out my website there. and. Lots of one and two on a low mile classics, just like this one. Uh, in fact, I got a lot of wagons like this. Just got back from a road trip. Um, I just put up a video of San Diego to Las Vegas, and then Las Vegas to Arizona, and Arizona to Utah is coming, and Utah, Idaho, and then Idaho, Montana. Then I got all kinds of unique animals, and gun stuff, and auction stuff, and car buying trip stuff, and check out my last videos. Check out my next videos. Be checking out my videos. I'm doing lots of cool stuff on here. Now this thing is absolutely beautiful inside. Just as nice as it gets. And we're gonna do our test drive. You can see I've got my stuff in it. This is a different kind of way of doing this than usual for me. Let me make sure I show the mileage before we get going here. 57906. Fires right off. Over that hood. Pretty retro and shiny. Mostly hot. Radio works. That's sad. That's up to the speed limit like it ain't no thing. And like I say, this one is going to be a little bit of a different video because I'm going to take it to the other lot. So I'm not going to do the normal turnaround at the test drive spot here. We're going to take it on the road. The ROAD. And you can see how it drives a little bit differently. I don't know how long I'll do this. There's your downshift. Oh man, that feels nice. It's 
got that teeny bit of a little bit of play where it don't go nowhere like these years get in the steering wheels. Not a problem, kind of just the way the cars drive. And I always try to not have the windows down and to not have the AC on. Um, and by the way, the AC on this blows and everything. And seems cool, but it was a little earlier. And I don't think it, I think it needs a charge. That's my point there. Everything's in great condition on this car. And I might as well just get you on the freeway. I mean, why not? We're here, we're driving. I'm like halfway to the freeway at least. So it would be an easy task to accomplish. Definitely a nice driving car that's in great shape and has a lot of life left in it. You get these cars and man, they're beat to heck and have hundreds and hundreds of thousands of miles and still drive fine. Um, this one's just as is beautifully maintained. I'm going to put this in park here. I'm trying to show you the pedal. It's got dirt on it for me driving it, of course. Come on, low level light adjustment. Adjust. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Not only that, on these cars, the way they are, when you drive them a lot, this piece right here, I don't know if you can see that, that right there with that little piece of aluminum type light in it. Then pieces get loose in there. I guess you break down the clear coating on it and they pop off and start unthreading. And that just happens on all of them. Um, that hasn't happened on this one. Um, ashtrays in there. Actually, that's out. There's center console there. Oh, change for change. Yeah. Um, small in your rug right there. You can see. Door panel's in great shape. Oh yeah, I might as well do this while I'm sitting here. See, we can do things while we're doing this. Look at that. Now we can't do things. Got the original owner's manuals and the envelope that the stuff came in. Uh-oh, lights are out. Lights, out. Okay, we're gonna put the camera down. There's an officer here. He's telling us to go ahead. We didn't do very well putting the camera down. We just kind of filmed it. Here you go. Get your shift and everything. Oh, man. Feels so nice, don't it? And we're up to 55, 60. We're right up with everybody, the best of them. 65, right onto the flow of traffic. We're right on the highway, man. There ain't nothing wrong with this car. It's nice as it gets. Little dings in the hood I can see there. Well, we're back at the lot now and um, got this here sweet Granada over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the inside and the under the hood and show you all that. Drives great on the freeway. Keep right with the flow of traffic like it ain't no thing. Um, this car is just pretty as can be. I noticed while I was driving it a ding here in here and it's very hard to see but you can see it if you really get up on it oneownercarguide.com Nathan 406-544-6919 you see the chrome on the top again it's beautiful buzzer works and all now earlier I said I can't think of an option it doesn't have well I couldn't then again, I wasn't in it. So, the option it doesn't have here, it's got manual windows and locks, which is pretty cool. Less stuff to go out. Um, your brake pedal, look at that, nowhere. Kick panel down there, nowhere. Carpet's in great shape. Shag carpet. Seats, not all ripped and torn up, beautiful. Dash, not all cracked up or messed up. 
It is discolored in a few areas. And I'll show you through the front here. It would probably be the best way. You can see that. And it's looking darker in that area. And it should likely be re-dyed. Ding right there that I couldn't see in the sun. The only thing I did to this car is I had a headliner put in it. Brand new headliner, so you know. Um, these cars, they're all the station wagons, they, they get hot in here. And heat rises, and heat definitely, I love this middle console thing with the change stuff. Pretty cool. But heat rises and headliners fall, that's just the way it goes. So you don't have to worry about that. Now all your seals around here, my god, look at that. Not even no dust on them, Harley. 82, manufactured in 10 of 81. The doors open and close beautifully. There's a little chip right there. Man, they don't even clean this thing up. Look at this. Look at this. I can't picture that. I'm going to have to wipe that down before I picture that. So now we're going to have to make a call real quick. So, that's the back seat. Now I know this thing flips down all sorts of different ways. And I'm going to figure that out once I get my phone dial in here. Phone is dialing. Look at the carpet. Beautiful shape. Um, I think it unlatches on the other side. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I need some um, pink stuff and a rag down here to wipe something. Okay, hopefully that does the trick. And he can help us look for how to do that. It's hard to look while you're filming and thinking and going on what to film next and all that. Now it's got the double hatch back pop I'm a bopper. Double hatch back pop I'm a bopper. Yeah, we'll call it that. Your strut on this one is a little wore out. And I'm going to show you something right now on this also. Matt will hold this for a second. Hold up, just like that. This is our stuff we use to kind of wipe things down, but this here, piece here, we ain't the best at detailing. I mean, that's all there is to it. We love cars. It's what we love. And you heard Matt groan there because he knows there's nobody, all of all the people here, we just didn't hit it up. We just missed it. And it looks great. It's wonderful. It's in great shape. It's just the sort of thing that actually should make me do the video over. But I do have a time limit on them. And I'd like to just be able to show you that this thing's in great shape. And at the same time, it's just the type of thing that people didn't notice that, hey, wait, this opens two ways. It was probably more of a, how do I get that type of thing? But, point for you, the viewer, is, look at that, like new. It's definitely in great shape, and definitely just needs to have the dust, because the dust collects on these back hatches, if you know much about these type of cars. The other thing I was going to show you is on this. It's not messed up. It's just not clean properly. And that white line was just some sort of, I don't know. So, I'll check out the other side real quick. You got half a clean seal there around that. Um, and I'll make sure on this one that we get that before. Um, yeah, you can see right there. Just kind of a little something on it. Now I'm picky. I just want you to see that there's not no white marks in this, that you've actually got good pieces. I'm going to show you the front seat, and Matt will try and get this back seat down here. I couldn't figure out exactly where the hinge is. Could be the seatbelt piece, too. <laughs> Got the books. <laughs> Motocraft oil. Think about that. I just found a thing yesterday where um, the little plug to put in it. That's the oil cans, man. Old school. We've found a little 
thing you put in it for a filter, or not filter, a uh, funnel. A little metal funnel you stick in them. Interesting. You haven't seen that lately, you know? Everything works in here. In fact, nobody that works for me knew what it was. That's how old I am. Me and my dad are the only ones that knew what it was. So you know you're getting old when it changes the way you fill up oil on stuff. Now I had the keys. I'm gonna show you with the actual hatch popped. And this one has the struts are fine. Um, little storage there. Man, I don't know if that's ever been out of there. Factory jack and the whole deal. This is not a rusty car or anything like that. I showed you underneath the back. I showed you everything on it. Um, I'm going to leave that down, actually, until I do pictures. Um, and that is your once around, your twice around, your three time around. I can't think of any more thing around to show you on this thing around. We've went around it. We've went down the highway. We've just rolled around all over town. Nathan, 406-544-6919. You can reach me absolutely anytime. Um, I also have a Fairmont Woody, uh, 79. I've got a Granada, not a Granada, just a regular LTD in this same type of body style, but at 8485. So I got quite a few of these wagons and Fox body cars right now. Um, give me a call, 406-544-6919. Import, export, I will ship it right to your port. Any port in the world, it don't matter. Um, just let me know how I can help you. www.oneownercarguy.com Nathan, 406-544-6919 Man, I cannot think of anything. I didn't pop the hood. How could you go around it and not pop the hood, my man? <sighs> I went out of style since my camera overheated on the highway I um, pulled it down here when I got here and took the under the hood pictures first so that wasn't very helpful it made me forget now I want you to know this before I it holds it just fine a little plastic clip that holds that snug is uh, broken that black paint off that just a teeny bit but look at the side of this motor You ain't gonna find one this clean. That's all there is to it. We're talking 57,000 original. All the Ford stickers still on it. This old boy took care of this thing. And you can tell it was maintained and properly taken care of. Now the AC is not blowing ice cold, but everything is spinning free. New belts and the whole deal. And I'm believing it just needs a recharge. Um, Man, it's beautiful under here. I'm just not joking you. It's just all there is to it. Factory hood insulation is still up there. 3.3 liters, straight six. Cool motors. Duraspark ignition. Ah, I got a little Swiss cable thing or positive. Looks like a Swiss flag thing. Ha ha ha. I know that it's positive. I've seen it before. But you see that? You just think Swiss flag. I don't know why. Maybe you don't. I did. Beautiful. Look at that. Here, hang on. You got to see that here. Look at this. This car is so damn clean. Make sure and call me with any questions. Um, now, I truly can't think of anything I didn't show you on. Just clean as can be. Underneath. Under the hood, inside, outside, under the side, over the side, everywhere. Clean, 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 clean. Import, export, I done told you that. We'll get it right to your port. 406-544-6919. Nathan, oneownercarguy.com. Make sure and check out my other videos. All sorts of cool classic Euro muscle car videos on here, reviews of them. I do lots of one and two owner classics, Euros, muscles, all kinds of stuff like that. And I just uploaded all kinds of road trips from... San Diego to Montana, showing the freeway and the terrain and everything. Not only that, auctions, car buying, and stuff like that. Lots of behind the scenes footage coming up. So make sure and tune in, check out my last 5-10 videos because there's some unique stuff and 
check out the next ones coming up because it's going to get really fun. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are.